out, lollygag like I usually do. Finally getting in the woods. I think I got the rest of today, tomorrow, and the next day. So two full days, one half of whatever I can get there today. Hopefully it's good. Uh, let's start off the season good. I mean, it'd be better than starting off the season bad. Nobody wants to do that. I mean, I already forgot to shave. That's kind of... Nobody's going to watch this video with scraggly McScragglins. Mid-February-ish, I think. I don't know the date. Usually I've been out a couple times by now, just kind of tippy-toeing around, just being in the woods. Um, but I had a lot of things to do. I had the uh, Portland Sportsman Show. We were in the Hunt Tag booth, and uh, thanks to all the guys that stopped by and you know said they watched the channel, and that means a lot. Like it's really cool to meet some of you guys and and uh, know that there's actually some crazy people out there watching this channel. So thank you guys for that. Hopefully we can find some horns on this trip. I got three days, and let's get it done. Find some horns. Find some horns. I, I mean, antlers. I just had a celebrity sighting. Celebrity, big celebrity. Probably the biggest celebrity I know. Mr. Garrett Weaver from On Point Podcast. He was just on his way back from California doing big podcast things. I had to stop by and get his autograph. And, uh, you know, he's kind of a big deal. So I said hi to him. And he wished me luck. So that pretty much guarantees that I'm going to find some horns on this trip. Plus, I was wearing my blue, blue shirt, see blue shirt? I have my blue Elk River Archery shirt on. He had the exact same shirt on. So we were like on the same wavelength somehow. It's, I mean, it's gotta be a sign that I'm gonna find big monster brown shed horns. Uh, it's just science, you can't really argue with that. I mean, I'm not gonna argue with it, it's science. Well, I made it. <clears throat> Had to do a little uh, log crossing to get here. One of these days I'll uh, break down and buy a saw. Maybe, maybe Blake will give me one of his old ones. I need one of those hot saws. It's like, brap. Just brap, 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 brap. Cut me some firewood while I'm out here. Anyhow, I made it. The weather's awesome. It's, uh, oh, the rig said 47 degrees. It's sunny. And uh, we're going to go down here and check and see what's on this camera. I'm going to pull one today. I don't think I'm going to get to the other two today. Probably tomorrow. So anyhow, we're going to get one today and then do a little shed hunt. Uh, the very first time I was down in this spot, I found a few. Never found anything big. Um, but the last couple times, it's been Skunk City. So I kind of put this camera down here to see what was going on, see if there's any activity. So let's go find out. Well, I got down to this meadow, and there's no horns here. So I'm pretty sure this spot sucks. Haven't made it to my camera yet to see how bad it really sucks. But I mean, it looks like it shouldn't suck. It should be awesome, but so far, no, not awesome, but we'll keep looking. I take that back. Bottom of this meadow just got a little more awesome. Let's go see what it is. It looks big. Where's your other side guy? You want to see it? You guys don't want to see it, do you? No, I'll just put it on my pack. You guys don't need to see it. Okay, you can see it. Oh, camera down. That's why we can't have nice things, Michael. Trying to show the folks at home. Shed horn, and you got to cover the camera in mud. The big dope. 
All right, sorry about that. I think I'll take a picture and then I'll pick it up. All righty. First horn of the year. Just a big old wannabe three point. A big eye guard on him. Let's see here a little closer. Whoa, focus. You can do it. You can do it. No, you can't. All right, let's find some more. Basically my strategy on this horn, if I could say I had one, was I've been above this, I've been below this, I've never been right through this little section. So that's why I walked right through here, just because I was looking on my Onyx. I was like, hey, in my, all my old grid lines, there's a patch that I've never been through, so I walked down there, and there's that old horn. I didn't look real close. It was laying right in the sun, so it might have been just last year's. Um, could be two years. Like I said, I didn't look super close at it. One way or the other, uh, it would have been fresher if I found it last year. Well, we made it to the camera. It's still here. Got yeah, quite a little, I just threw out a little, sorry. I threw out a little, little bitty salt block, salt brick. And uh, there's a hole here, so something found it. Interesting to see what's on the old camera. So let's pick it up. I see a lot of uh, elk sign all around, so I'm just guessing we're gonna get some elk pictures. I guess we could check to see if it even worked. Photos, 2010. Well, that seems like a lot. I mean, that's that's more than 2009. Or 2008. Well, it seemed to work. That's a good sign. All right, I finally got that blasted thing untied and uh, I forgot a card reader so I can't even check till I get home to see what's going to be on there but if there's anything cool I'll uh, post some pictures in the video of whatever is on the camera hopefully it's something cool like cat foot Squatch monster, knockerhead shark. You never know it's gonna be out here. Now I know part of the problem of why I'm not finding horns. There is a really big buck down there and he still has both sides on his head. But that's why I kind of tippy toe through here. Like I 
I said, I knew it was going to be early, but this might be like the only three days I get for a while. So I'm just going to take note where he's at and know I need to probably come back here because that's a big buck. He's over a thousand yards away, so I can't like show you guys, but he's just standing in the meadow sunning himself pushing 20 wide and real tall all right i'm gonna watch him for a little bit and see what he does he was he was a big wide heavy buck he just finally bedded down out there i was stuck out in the middle of the wide open i kind of wanted to go around the corner a little more but even at a thousand yards he would have seen me walking across that meadow so i just as soon as he bedded down kind of facing me, I just snuck back up into this timber. So you just leave him alone, let him be down there. I know where he's at. Now I can come back later and look another time. But I just don't want to be pushing deer around, so leave him alone. Well, leaving that buck alone paid off because I went in a different direction that I never go and I came to a meadow that I knew was over here but I thought it was a lot smaller than it is. It's real big and uh, looks like the first brownie of the year here. Let's see, can you see that? Where are you looking? Right down there. Bam. Oh, he's a monster. I should probably uh, put him back and let him grow a little bit. Just a fresh little forked horn. Sweet. That's cool though. That's two. One fresh forked horn, one old big one. And I got this whole chunk of stuff that I've never really been in. Well, I stopped for a little break, pulled up the glass and looked across over there and looks like one big buck still packing and it sure looks like two other big body deer that don't have horns but I mean I guess same thing they're like a thousand yards over there I guess they could be does but wouldn't see one big old mature buck just hanging out with a doe in a ow bug you don't bite one anyhow they're way over there just mental note on another spot of where to check and that spot over there is that's out there I don't even want to show you what I'm looking at secret spot shh I don't think he's as big as that other buck I just looked at earlier, but I mean, I'd shoot him. He looks, he looks tasty. All right, I'm gonna wander back towards the towards the rig and see if I can't scrounge up some more real quick. Well, I watched him a little while longer, and there's for sure two bucks <coughs> that are still packing that are shooter bucks, nice big bucks. The other one that doesn't have horns is a little smaller bodied. And the fourth one that popped out was the, the fourth one that popped out was the biggest bodied of all of them and it didn't have horns. So that leads me to believe that there's a big buck over there that's already dropped because I don't know why there'd be a doe with a bigger body than two big shooter bucks over there. Anyhow, it's getting cold fast. I came to another big meadow. There's three does in it. And they saw me and kind of trotted off. And then there was two more bucks. One little dinky fork and horn three point thing. Another one I just saw a big frame as he disappeared. But I got this. big. 
middle of the party. I've walked by this horn lots of times. But usually when I come out here, the grass is like waist deep. I'm going to tippy toe over through the side and try not to scare those deer any more than I already did. Man, the sucker's heavy. Had to do some sneaking to get out of there without bumping all those deer. They just stood up there and looked at me and I just kind of acted nonchalant and just kind of looked around and acted basically as unthreatening as I could. They just went back to feeding and so the two bucks, I never did see them again. They were back in the timber but there was probably 10 or 15 deer out there. So definitely a spot I need to come back and just Give another looky loo, but I gotta find the truck. Well, I made it to the pickup finally, and uh, <clears throat> ended up seeing after I counted there was five bucks for sure still packing horns. Um, I would say a handful of the other deer that were with them are most likely bucks that have dropped. Some of them are pretty big bodied deer. Not all of them, but uh, clearly I was too early. But like I said, I, this is the only three days I have for a long time, so I just need to be in the woods and I need to come down and get those cameras because I don't know when I was going to be able to get them. Going to make some dinner of some sort, make my bed, go to sleep. It's been a good first day, three horns better than no horns. See you guys tomorrow.